Back out at Hank Aaron Stadium, Melanie Newman for the Mobile Bay Bears. I'm joined with Diamondbacks minor league hitting coordinator Chris Crone. Thank you for taking the time for me afternoon. My pleasure. So you joined the Diamondbacks at the beginning of last season in 2014. Now that you've had that full year under your belt, what are you able to focus on? Uh, relationships more than anything. Uh, the first year is sort of like a feeling out process. You don't necessarily know. I know, I know coaches. I knew a few players. Uh, but now it's just a lot more comfortable where they know me, I know them. Uh, and you can just, when you have a relationship with a player especially, you can dig a little deeper. Uh, you can, uh, you can, you know, everybody wants to help, uh, but they don't know necessarily trust you yet because they don't know you. And, uh, uh, and that's all it is. It's just a, it's just a getting to know, uh, feeling out process the first year and the second year. This, this year has been much more uh, of a friendlier type atmosphere. And now that you have those relationships with the players, in particular with Mobile, what are what are you seeing right now? Um, you know, it's 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 always a, a grind, a tough deal because you know you, you feel so as a coach, all you want to do is help. Uh, and and when they when they struggle, they don't do as well as as we anticipated them doing, or a few players aren't aren't achieving a, as good of a year as they they'd like. Uh, you search for certain things. You know, you watch more video. You try to you try to make a few more suggestions here and there. Uh, but it's just a it's just a constant little uh, a grind that you you try to you just you want to help so much. I mean, I'm, I'm talking to uh, Jason Camilli, the hitting coach here, and, and uh, you know he he loses sleep over it. I mean, I'm not going to necessarily lose sleep over it because I know that all you can do is just give them the information. And they have to go out there and try to apply the thoughts and, and try to apply those uh, those suggestions. And that's that's the hard part. It's, it's easy to make the suggestion. It's hard to apply it. So in addition to working with Jason Camilli, you've also worked closely with Mobile's own manager, um, Robbie Hammock. He said that you've had tremendous effect on his career. So what was it that you gave to him? Yeah, I, I, he may be giving me a little bit too much credit. Uh, and, and, you know, it, it's just a, a, not necessarily a pay it forward, but, Somebody taught me how to do what I did as a, as a manager. Uh, you learn uh, through other people's uh, uh, ideas and, and, and how, they, how, they've done it, how they've done their job. And all I did was make a few little suggestions. I mean, when you have, you know, for me, I'm just, I'm older. I, I've been around the game. I got 20 years of managerial experience, and, and Robbie's got four or three. And, you know, you see certain things, and, and, uh, and, uh, and you just, well, you need to, you need to, and, I, and it's just a suggestion. It's just, I, I, I've been there. I know you, you, the game may be moving a little fast for you, and some of the suggestions that, he's, that I've made for him, uh, he's taken and run with them like, like crazy. And, I, and that makes me feel good because I did that with people that taught me how to, how to manage. And I, and I know it, made, it makes me feel good that I can, I can actually help somebody. Now, with your own managerial career, you saw tremendous success, including a championship. What was that like? What do you take away from that experience? Um, you know, I had a lot of good players. Um, I tried, you know, as, as the years, as years added up, um, you know, you, you, just, you just continue to figure out what, what, what may work for a certain player. And I was lucky enough, fortunate enough that, that, that the championship came, uh, you know, and it was, at the, it was at the rookie ball level. And it was no, there was nothing more rewarding than finally winning something. And I was a lot of close calls, a lot of, uh, champ, you know, championship series that didn't quite come uh, to, the, to the victory side of things. But, uh, you know, I, I, I've just, I've, I've, you know, you do it long enough and you get lucky enough and you see a lot of good players go through the, the system and, and teams that you're on and, and you're just very, very fortunate and blessed to have those guys. With that, do you ever think about returning to the managerial level at the big leagues? No, I, I think my, my day has passed, I, I, uh, and that's not a bad thing at all. Uh, my resume isn't quite, uh, um, you know, big league side. I, I only got 41 days as a player in the big leagues, and that's not necessarily something that people look on. I, uh, I love what I do right now. I have no desire to do really anything else and if something other if something else positive happens I would sure I'd, I'd take a look at it but uh, you know it's just something that I'm not uh, sold on like that's my one of my goals it's just I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to have this job and very fortunate and go about doing it every day as good as I can possibly do it well we're fortunate to have you down here as well again thank you my pleasure anytime Again, this is Melanie Newman with the Diamondbacks minor league hitting coordinator Chris Crone. When we come back, Justin Baker will have first pitch for you between the Mobile Bay Bears and the Tennessee Smokies.